Hi, my name is Tom and Firestone. I'm working on Return to the Moon. Uh, my team is comprised of Alice, Aaron, and Jonathan, who are uh, undergraduate students uh, currently doing an internship at uh, Extreme Labs. Uh, I also have Christine, who is a New Zealand-born uh, software developer, currently working in Montreal um, uh, for an environmental consultancy that uses uh, space-based data to produce meaningful information, or something like that. I'm probably did that very poorly. I am a serial entrepreneur who has successfully commercialized um, a unique type of nuclear fusion technology. I'm currently opening a uh, nuclear research laboratory, and I'm also involved in a, a medical tech startup. But I will get to the presentation. We've developed a game that depicts the uh, bootstrapping of a lunar infrastructure and lunar economy. And we wanted to uh, draw in an audience that was comprised of, let's say, uh, mature teens and adults, rather than making a, a, a younger audience game, a more mature one, uh, that provided a compelling narrative that uh, would entertain the, uh, the, the user and draw them into uh, all of the, the various things that are involved in this infrastructure. But particularly, um, within these, uh, this browser-based game, you can click on links um, to information within the game uh, so, for example, we have an introduction. You could click on NASA. It'll take you to NASA's website. As you continue into the game, uh, you'll be given choices, but here you'll, you'll be given links, again, to very real things that are being done today. Research websites to research websites to companies that are involved in the space industry um, so that the, the player can actually uh, be inspired by knowing that real things are happening uh, that will hopefully lead to this vision that we have or we presented through the narrative um, as you play the game. So you'll, you'll pick these different choices. Some of them will you'll have you fail and start again, and that'll kind of teach you what uh, we expect will be a viable way to go forward or not a viable way. And uh, we've also filled in some... Uh, the game is, as I said, it's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure that leads also into some um, resource and infrastructure strategy. And we filled in some comedy in there and some, some random effects. Uh, I don't want to focus too much on the game, but you can play it already via the, the link that we provided at the beginning of the, um, uh, the presentation. It's also on our profile page. Uh, if we were to have more time to work on this, uh, we would really like to fill out the narrative to be, make it a little more compelling and more entertaining, and also fill out every, uh, like every reference that we make to something real, have a link to it. Have a link to research papers, have it linked to company websites, to profiles of individuals, people that are really working on this. The idea, again, is to, to educate and inspire. Um, and as we go to the, the near the end of the game, it's a bit of farther in the future, we have a bit of creative license. So we, we let the, the, uh, the player know that what they have done and what they have succeeded has helped open up the moon to lunar tourism, to, uh, to support of uh, low Earth orbit uh, fuel, uh, refueling of satellites and deep space missions and all kinds of kind of science fiction-y or slightly science fiction-y um, elements. And that was our game.